and maximize Emily's damage. And this is exactly how I did it. A few things to do, a few things to really do the most amount of damage is firstly, um, ascend her to 80 out of 90. This is probably the first thing you want to do. This is probably the first thing you have done. Um, getting her to 80 out of 90 means you get the most out of her ascension stat, which is crit damage. And that is really nice to have, especially for a character that wants to deal damage. The more crit damage you have, the more you can do damage if, of course, you have enough critical rate. Now, also, getting her 90 out of 90 is even better if you don't have 2400 attack, for example, like me. But for the sake of saving resources, um, I have her at 80 out of 90, and I'll try to get better artifacts to side, you know, just sort of make it a little bit better. The reason why you want to have 2400 attack is for her passive to work optimally. That is pretty much it. Secondly, her weapon. Her, her weapon, you just really have to focus on what type of weapon you want. And you have to really try not to misjudge what kind of weapon that she needs. For me, I'm kind of low on ER. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up my Favonius and give it straight to her. But of course, I need resources on that. So I'm going to be doing that. But for now, what I'm doing is running a critical rate one. So I can do as much crit damage as possible. And that way I can deal the most amount of damage. And this way, I can have Emily just 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 crit all the time which is super nice of course you don't have to use the primordial jade wing spear you can use any other weapon um it could have crit it could have uh, energy recharge it could have a uh, straight up attack and it would deal pretty much it would be pretty good now the reason i tell you guys that you need not to misjudge the weapon is because you need the ultimate uptime to be there you need it to be up all the time that's why you have optimal rotations and you can deal more damage it's simple as that more damage better emily simple now thirdly for the artifacts this is really really important now i've talked about the unfinished reverie set it's an excellent set really good and you can deal damage this way and it has a burning uh, effect and with burning you can deal 50 percent more damage because without it you lose out on the effect that it has this is very very important and the reason why i tell you guys this is important is because emily needs burn okay she's not a burning character but she is a character that gets buffed by burning which is really nice so her own damage is increased in that i do want to mention that this is not the only artifact set that you are going to need You're like huh, what what do you mean what do you mean this is not the only artifact okay so for your other character for example let's say xiangling my shangling is running the emblem of severed fate but if i want it to be optimal i'm gonna change the set and i'm going to equip the deep wood memory the reason i say that is because shangling can just do damage whether she has that set or not if i want shangling to deal some pyro damage which i do so i can get some burning she will also hit the opponent with dendro resistance decrease this will allow you to deal much much more damage with your M. but if you're running another dendro character on your same team um they could just run that set instead and you will be good to go um, the reason I say that you need both of these is so Emily just deals the most amount of damage possible, especially because she is a sub DPS and she will deal a lot of damage regardless. But this is how to really maximize that amount of damage as much as possible. The only thing that you need to sort of keep in mind is because you're doing like these two sets, you need to have a pyro character and with the pyro character, you can do the unfinished reverie and you can do burning and then there you go it's really important because that's how your passives are going to activate speaking of passives let's go straight into the talent this is how to really really significantly increase your amount of damage dealt from emily you want to get this as high as possible and it's really easy especially nowadays because boss mats are really easy to come by especially because of the dream solvents that you can get dropped as well so you can just straight up trade in whatever boss mat that um the <laughs> arlecchino boss has and trade them in for these specific ones that she dropped very simple you only need the elemental skill and want to burst you, you can ignore the, the normal attacks, really. And that way, you can deal the most amount of damage. And because you're 80 out of 90, you have all of these uh, passive talents unlocked, which will help you deal the damage that you need as well. But yeah, that is pretty simple, simple way to get Emily to deal more damage. And now, last but not least, you need some teams to back up that claim. Now, I have this Ayaka team that does melt 
with burning and it works really really well but if you have a, another character like maybe chong yun um and you have a normal attacker that can deal uh, a lot of damage uh with cryo obviously um then there's that or you know right as leaf would be an excellent choice especially with this team would be really good or you can have a team like this uh with chong yun i mean i've showed you guys already i've showed you guys a few teams you can have uh, okay don't put her on that team <laughs> We'll put her on that team okay um you can have an arlecchino team with her instead and she would perform pretty great where is she there she is um she would perform pretty great you just need some pyro that's pretty much pretty much all you need if we had to be honest and you'd be good to go you can even run some virgin teams which i found pretty fun with toma or shangling and that would be pretty cool obviously you're going to have a hydro character as well like maybe furina um any other you know uh, I don't care. That is going to be pretty much it. That is how to maximize your Emily. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, these are my current stats. If you guys want to take a quick peek and organ, it's not, it's not bad. 64, 208, 118. I definitely need energy recharge, and that is why I'm considering getting that Favonius Lance. But if I could just you know, get a energy recharge Sands, I think I'll be, I'll be pretty happy. But for now, I'm running the attack Sands and. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.